What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an awesome team to show up for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb, Slush Rush, Arctazolt Hail team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support your channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across the channel. But I know a lot of weather teams have been being used in Series 9, like Rain, uh, Sandstorm, and Drought. But Hail never gets no loving. So we're going to give it some loving today. Show off why it is actually rather strong and can get you some wins on that rank ladder. But getting started here, top left corner, we have Alone with Nine Tails in order to get the, that Hail started with the Snow Warning ability. We have that Focus Sash so he doesn't get one tap. We got Protect. Blizzard, which hits 100% of the time, and Hail, Moonblast for our other stab move, and Ice Shard for first turn priority. Next to him is going to be the heart and soul of this team, is our Slush Rush Arcazolt. He has that Life Orb, make him do a little bit of damage, doubles its speed and Hail, and then we got Protect, and three stab moves of Blizzard, Bolt Beak, and then the third stab move is going to be Thunder Wave to Pester, hand out some Paralyze, and slow down the opposing Pokemon. Middle left, we have Heatran with that Flash Fire and Shuka Berry. So if they want to go into a Fire Move, I can swap out, get that Flash Fire rolling, skip a free turn, and roll from there. We got Protect, Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, and Earth Power as this moveset. Priscilla right next to him as a Trick Room Pokemon and a Trick Room Counter Pokemon. Got that moveset of Moonblast, Trick Room, Helping Hand to make other Pokemon do more ma more damage like Arctus Ult, and Skill Swap over here. We also have Levitate and the Cobra Berry, which is going to rock out from there. Gastron in that bottom left corner with Storm Drain, so we can actually dodge a lot of moves here. We can dodge Fire moves with the Heat Train and Water moves with the Gastron, which I love. We also have that Wiki Berry for him with the move set of Earth Power, Scald, Clear Smog, and Recover. Final Pokemon is going to be Rillaboom, one of the best Pokemon that you can bring in on any team. I feel like he is just so good all around, and legit every single team is rocking him right now. We got Protect, Grassy Glide, Knock Off, and Fake Out. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that Series 9 Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this Hail team. First battle coming at you guys. We're trying to come out here guns a-blazing, get ourselves a victory here. And this guy's got a pretty cool team. He's got a Tapu Lele alongside with Metagross, Raikou, Storm Drain Gastron, Crobat for Tailwind, and Intimidate in Cinnamore. Um, I think I can go safely into my Hail squad. I think I can just go Arcazole and, uh, and Alolan Ninetales. I think it's pretty safe. I mean, he might lead Metagross. I don't like that. I'm going to bring Heatran in the back end. I do really like Heatran in this uh, this matchup here. And then in the final spot, I think we're going to rock out with Rillaboom. Because really the only Pokemon that's going to pose a big threat to Rillaboom is going to be that Intimidate Incineroar. But I think we should be fine. Like, Arctozole, if he goes... if he Say he leads the Incineroar. I could always swap. I could always do that. Hmm. That's tough. Let's go into this. Because cause the problem is, if Incineroar comes out here, there's an Intimidate and... This Arctozolt has Bolt Beak and Blizzard. One is special attacking, one is physical attacking. So Blizzard will be not very effective, and then our electric move is going to be uh, minus one, which which is tough, which is tough. And then I don't know if I should Dynamax from there, but we'll see. We'll just see who, who he leads, and we'll see how we play it out. But there's no doubt in my mind he's going to bring that Incident War somewhere on the team. And there it is. There's the lead. Incident War and Crowback get out here. He's going to Tailwind. He's going to fake out. He's going to roll from there. I think I just protect my Ninetales, and I roll from there. Do I drop a Hailstorm? I think I'm, just, I think I'm still going to Dynamax here. I think a safe Dynamax is still good. I think we're fine with that. Let's see what he wants to roll. That could swap in a little bit. Or I could just drop a straight Blizzard and not even Dynamax. Guaranteed is 100% hitting. Hmm. But I just go for straight Bolt Beak. Now we're going to go for the Blizzard. Blizzard's going to do more damage. It's 100% hitting right now. And... Um, do I drop another blizzard or do I just protect? I think I just protect this turn. Like I said, I think he's going to fake out my nine tails and then go into a tailwind. Thinking my Arctozole is going to Dynamax. Let's see. Blizzard comes through. Oh, he doesn't even go for the fake out. So we get off this blizzard here. Bang. Bring that thing down to its sash. He's going to die to buffets. That's totally fine. The tailwind definitely coming out here. Right? You set off the tailwind. You got to be setting off that tailwind. Yep, there's a tailwind. And is he just going to drop a flare blitz? Go into my nine tails. Go into my nine tails. Give me a block. Whatever comes out. Nope. Straight into my Zolt. Zolt, can you eat? Probably not. No. Dang it, man. Should have doubled up. Should have totally doubled up. Imagine if I would have went for an Ice Shard there. Into a Blizzard. That could have been a big play. A big recoil damage onto that Incineroar. And we didn't waste our Dynamax, which is good. So Arc Zolt. Doing, doing okay. Not bad. Could bring out Heatran. Heatran's pretty solid. I think I am going to bring out Heatran. Got that Flash Fire rolling. Um, who else did he have on his team? Metagross can come out here. 
Yeah, if does if Metagross does come out here, I'm, I'm cool with that. Hmm. Yeah, Incineroar is a is a tough little tough little customer. I'm hoping he throws out a special attacker, because then I can go into a quake and roll from there. It's gonna be Gastron. Which oh, I'm fine with. I'm totally fine with Gastron coming out here. I think I just max Quake, take out an Incineroar, and uh go from there. Gonna be the play for jeans, baby. Use our Dynamax, get that special defense boost. This should still be enough to take him out. But I am still going to do I Blizzard? Hmm. My parting shot. Let's see his Pokemon. His final Pokemon's gotta be Metagross, right? It's gotta be Metagross. So I really do have to make sure that this uh this Incineroar does go down. Let's see how he rolls out from here. Is he gonna Dynamax his Gastro? He is gonna Dynamax his Gastro. Wow. Gastrodon getting the Dynamax. Okay. That's fine. Imagine if I would have brought my Gastrodon. Which I didn't. I, I wasn't expecting him to bring his. Like, not, like, I was just like, yo, he's not bringing his. We don't really have a big, like, water factor going on. And I did not bring mine. And he Dynamaxes it. That little booger. That little booger. But, guys, let me know for question of the day. What sports do you guys enjoy watching, and what is your guys' favorite team? Master's this question because the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs just started, and I've been watching that. My team, the Pittsburgh Penguins, are in the playoffs. I've been rooting for them ever since I was a kid. So I've been watching them and having a blast with that. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below what sports you guys watch, and what is your favorite team. It can legit be anything, any sport. Just let me know. I would love to know. A Moonblast comes through. Doing some damage on that. A Quake will be able to take this out, but Gastron is going to get first shot on us. And he's going to change up weather. Oh, he's doubling up. Mm, mm, mm. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. His stats drop. There goes the geyser. He's going to quake. Oh, and we got Shookaberry, baby. Shookaberry probably going to let us live another turn, I'm thinking. Let's see. If I see go for the geyser, switch up the weather. That still KOs. Get out of my face. What was the point of the Shookaberry then? What you mean? God dang, Shookaberry. Oh, now this one's not looking good for us. The god dang Shookaberry. Dang, man. If we would have just been able to eat that shot up, I think we would have had like a strong shot at winning this one. But I think a Moonblast should. Do we, do we think we could dagger it? We, we, can, we can put in the dagger on that Incineroar and just drop a nice big Grassy Glide here. See how much damage we can do? Because that's real tough. I had that Sugar Berry and I'm, I still wasn't able, even able to eat up a Max Quake. Which I would have loved there. Get a nice big special defense boost for the crew. More from there. Grass Glide is definitely going to come out here. We got to do as much damage as we can to that thing. Another Moon Blast, considering we know we're going to outspeed. And we need this damage off on this instant roar so he doesn't just drop a Flare Blitz onto us. Let's see. He is going to end up guarding. Okay. I'm cool with that. As long as it's Moon Blast KOs. Let's see. Moon Blast, do it. I need you here, Ninetales. Show it to me. Say it's real spicy. You stink. There goes that Flare Blitz. That's tough. Flare Blitz. Can we eat? I don't know. Maybe. We do. Because it was minus one. Recoil damage is going to take him out. All right. So recoil damage takes him out. We're still going to be able to get off a of Grass Glide. But who's his last Pokemon? Yo, Robin, we should be able to eat up this Buffet, right? 17? Yeah, okay, cool. And then we get our HP back. All right. Um, I'm trying to think. Who is he bringing out? It's got to be Metagross, like I said. It's got to be the gross of the Metas. I should probably would have doubled up in the Cinemore, but that, was, that wouldn't have been smart. It's going to be Tapu Lele. It's going to be Lele. And the Surge is out and about. Dang, dude, I really want that grassy terrain. I really want that terrain. So now I cannot... Uh, do I outspeed? Probably not. Oh, man. Oh, man. I still have to go for a glide. I still have to go for a glide. I guess we'll go for a blizzard. Maybe try to get some freezes. This is like our last ditch effort here. But battle number one is not looking good for us. There goes the psychic. Takes out my roll boom. That's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. Rough first battle there. Opponent did outplay us. And we're going to start off 0-1. But hopefully we can hop into our second and third battle. Try to get some wins here. Any freezes? Nah. I feel like freeze never works. I feel like, we, you, like freeze is just a waste of a status condition. It really is. Max Quick comes out. Puts us down to 26. They have that double special defense boost. And this guy's just set up for victory. He is set up for victory. But he did get out that tailwind really to carry him. I'm trying to think, what happened in the beginning that kinda that kinda pushed us over? Oh no, it was the what's called. It was the sugar berry not being able to eat. 
Uh, so that's what I really want. I want that Shuka Berry to be able to eat and then us get off another turn, but it didn't, and we end up losing this first battle. So we're just going to run, keep our Ninetales alive, and roll out from there. Second battle coming at you guys, going up against a Cinderace team. That's going to be a little tough, and probably Life Orb Dragapult or Life Orb Cinderace. Either or one of them has Life Orb. It also has Tapu Koko, Milo Tick, Grimmsnarl, and Clefairy for that support mod. I really want to go into the hail, but that Cinderace is posing such a big threat right here. So it's kind of scaring me. It really is. Um, hmm. He has no Tailwind, so we gotta remember that. That's that's a plus for us. Uh, do I think he's gonna lead that Cinderace? Possibly? Maybe? I still wanna lead Hail. I still wanna lead Hail. He has no Intimidate. That's a good sign. I think we're gonna go into these two. Uh, bring Heatran for that Flash Fire. He has one Water Pokemon, but I do like having Rillaboom. Hmm. Rillaboom does have that knockoff. We can take off items. Um... What does Jeans want to do here? I think I'm going to go in with same squad. I don't think we need Storm Drain Gastron. Or I think we should be fine without him. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. There's always that option where I can go into Cresselia, run in Trick Room, and then have Gastron go, go out there and try to pick up a win for us. But I feel like this is going to be the play here. Is just stick weather, try to get that rolling, and go from there. And if he does lead Cinder Race, I think we just, uh, we just swap into a Flash Fire, waste a turn, and go from there. And then, then decide our play. But that first battle was rough. That was a rough battle. So we're trying to make up for it here. He does end up going Dragapult and Clefairy. Okay. Dragapult and Clefairy. So I'm with this hail. I'm thinking we just double Blizzard. In all honesty. I said we save our Dynamax. We double Blizzard. He can go for Follow Me's all day. He can do what he wants. I just, I just think we double Blizzard. It's 100% hitting. It's going to be super effective on the Dragapult. And it hits through Follow Me's. So... I think that's just, just a simple play we can roll off from there. And maybe pick up an early KO on this Dragapult. He's just going to withdraw it, so that's just, that's fine first turn by me. He's going to go into Milotic. That's fine. I can Bolt Beak next turn. Or I can drop a Max uh, Lightning. There's my Blizzard. Can we get a Freeze? Can we get a Freeze? Oh, we're doing some nice damage at Clefairy. Doing some lovely damage at Clefairy. Another Blizzard come through here. Show me a Freeze. Show me a Freeze. That's not bad. Oh, we get a freeze. Oh, my lord. Yes, sir. Big old freeze. Moonblast coming through here. On to Zolt. Can Zolt eat? Love you. Okay. Um. Hmm. You're just going to follow me this turn? Do we think an Ice Shard can KO that thing? I'm thinking an Ice Shard might be able to pick up a KO. And I'm definitely going to try that. Ice Shard is going to be 40. But it goes first. And I, I need it to go first because I need uh, him to go before my... uh. My soul. So if he does go for a follow me, let's just see what happens here. Are you going for the follow me? Fairy's gonna protect you. I'm totally fine with that turn. I'm totally fine with that turn. I, I was just going after Smile Attack, and I, I'm saving my Dynamax. I really don't think we need it right now. Bolt be coming out here. Yo, bang! Get him out of here. Get him out of my face, yo. My boy Arctos is thriving here. He's thriving right now. Big freeze coming in, but the, I don't even think the freeze matter. It didn't even like, waste a turn from him. There goes Buffett's. Another, like, an Ice Shard should be able to take this out. So I am going to Ice Shard over top this. And maybe send another Blizzard. Again, I don't want a Dynamax right now. I just don't think there's a point in doing it. Actually, I'm just double Blizzard here. No need for an Ice Shard. Let's just double Blizzard. Double Blizzard. The Blizzard is coming out here. He's going to try to get rid of my Zolt. That's his plan. I could Dynamax, but I don't, I don't think I don't think I want to. I think I'm just going to save it for my Heatran. I think that's going to be our play. And I do have Rillaboom to knock off an item. The double Blizzard popping. I know Coco is kind of a lightweight here. He's going to end up Dynamax to Coco. So that's good. That's good news. That is lovely news for me. Because my only worry about this battle here was him mowing into that Dragapult. And me not Dynamaxing my Arctozole and having that Dragapult potentially sweep. So if he Dynamaxes this Coco, I think we should be fine here. I think we should be fine in this battle. I can roll in with my Heatran. Dynamax at Heatran. He is part steel type, so he's going to be able to eat up any fairy shots he has. Follow me. He's coming through here. Waste of a move, considering we blizzard him. Get after it. Blizzard come out. Can we get a freeze on the Coco? Can we get a freeze on the Coco? Give it to me, baby. I want to see it so bad. No freeze going to come out here. Life or damage is going to go through. And lightning's going to pop. Are you going after my Zolt? That's fine. Just after my Zolt. And he gets no really substantial boost from it. And my Ninetales is going to be able to pop off a Blizzard. Yep. And we have one more turn in, uh, what's it called? 
or in one more turn, maybe two more turns in there, but in our hail. He trying to come out here. I can Earth Power and just Blizzard again. Because I still have my Focus Sash on my Alola Ninetales, which is beautiful. So Heat Jaren pops through here. I am going to Dynamax him. I'm going to drop a Max Quake. I'm going to finish off that Coco. And I'm just going to drop another Blizzard. I think he might uh, go for a uh, Phantom Force. Or do I Ice Shard? Ooh. Now I have my Sash right now. I have my Sash right now, so I'm just like, let's just roll out here. Try to do as much damage as I can, because there's no way he's doubling up in the Ninetales. Like, the odds of him doubling up in the my Ninetales is substantial, because Ninetales doesn't pose that big of a threat compared to this Heatran about to be Dynamax. But let's get it, yo. We're making up for battle number one. Battle number one was a little rough, but you guys already know, I record the first three battles I record goes to my videos. I don't record multiple battles and give you guys the best one. Everything you guys see is straight up. Phantom Force is popping. Like I said, I thought he was going to go for that. Try to dodge out of move. I'm totally fine with that. It's really not a big deal. I don't see him KOing any of these uh, Pokemon here. He's going to go for an Airstream into Ninetales. Ninetales has a Sash, but he eats it up anyway. Puts him on 44 in yellow. And we can get rid of this top of Coco. Coco, get out of my face. Getting real sick of it. What did you get Dodge? Did Dragapult not get a, a speed boost? Solid question. I don't think he got a speed boost because it was banished. Or did it, and maybe I just didn't see it. But get out of here, Coco. But it was a good move by me to actually wait off and not even Dynamax that, that uh, arc result. Save it for someone else who would get more value out of it, like this Heatran, and pick us pick up the win for us. Because if I would have Dynamax too early, that could have been a way I lost the game. Because there is plenty of times where I or you guys saw the opponents Dynamax too early and just the opposing team waiting it out and just losing that at that point. It's tough. So Dynamax is a huge, uh, huge thing. Or timing of your Dynamax. But we're just going to drop the Blizzard. Go for the Steel Spike. Dragapult is going to go first. I wonder who he's going after. He's going after Heatran. He was hoping that Airstream KOs. But this Blizzard should be able to fly through here. Finish this game off. Say GG. And we go 1-1 one one for our battles so far. He's got it. Yeah. Not a chance. Not a chance that thing's surviving. Dude, the health bar dropped so fast. This thing was just done. We win this battle. We can hop into our third. Look for that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Looking for that winning record. We're going up against a Spectre team right here. Alongside with Cliff Fairy, Urshifu, Regilecki, and then two solid starters with Incineroar and Brillaboom. Hail's the way to go here again, in my opinion. I think we're going to rock out with Hail. He might go Spectre and Cliff Fairy. He might roll from there. Did I just click Summary? Yeah, I just click Summary. <laughs> I meant to just uh, throw it in here. Enter and Enter. Hail's always a strong uh, lead for these guys. Um, Definitely want Heatran again. Heatran's rocking out. And then Rillaboom? Do I go with Rillaboom again or Storm Drain Gastron? I think Gastron might be a little bit better here. I don't know. Rillaboom is pretty cool, man. I do dig Rillaboom, but I think I am going to go Storm Drain Gastron as our final Pokemon. Keep Rillaboom out of here, and we can rock out from here. Even though Rillaboom is great. Even though he is great. I kind of want to get some variety, not use the same four Pokemon in all three battles. But we're not going to be using Cresselia today. You guys kind of already know what, what it would do. They have a Trick Room on or something. We can counter it. Or if we have to roll out with Trick Room, say they're like, just have a total speed advantage. Then we bring in that Cresselia. We can Trick Room and kind of counteract that uh, the Tailwind or the speed. And I want this win. Hail worked really well last game. First battle, Hail was like, eh, didn't really work too well. But we played solid in that second one. Showed off the Hail power. Hopefully we can get this winning record here and show off the Hail power once again. Come on, who you got? Who you going up against? Who, what do you want? What you want? All right, Spectre Clefairy. Kinda like that's a that's a standard lead. We might Dynamax there. We're gonna lead these two, and I might just double Blizzard again. I'm thinking of just going with a double Blizzard and not Dynamax, just saving it for the Heat Train again, or maybe even my Gastrodon. I think I'm yeah, dude. Double Blizzard's gonna be play. Blizzard, Blizzard. Let's get after it, cause I don't want him just following me and eating up my max shots, and then him Dynamax and rolling from there. Let's see what you got. Is Arctis Ult will go first. There's a Dynamax. You gotta be going for follow me. No way you're going for helping hand. I just don't see it happening. Hopefully we get a freeze. We did get a freeze last battle, which is cool. Freezers are so rare. And it's even rare to get a freeze and have it waste a turn. Because usually they'll thaw out right away. And you'll just be like, dude, that, that's just wasting my time. Like, it's the worst status condition ever. It is so annoying. It really is. Helping. Oh, he does helping hand. I could have Dynamax and dropped the big old ice rock on this thing. Blizzard comes out. We got a freeze. On the wrong Pokemon! What you mean? Nine Tails, you gotta you gotta get the other one. Nine Tails, you gotta get the other one. There goes the Quake. I can get chilling Nay boost. Go after Nine Tails. Ah! E! This one's over. It's over with. It's over with. Spectre are too good. Spectre are too good. 
this was my only problem with series nine it really was this was going to be my only problems with series nine is glacier and spectre was going to take the spotlight again and uh roll out really really strong because they were phenomenal in the season before uh the restricted mons came in they were just broken they really were give me freeze nope no freeze but buffets will come to the rear but they were phenomenal you guys know that they would just roll out here and dominate every pokemon in the scene they really would um who do i roll off from here I could clear smog i could go for a clear smog we're not gonna be able to outspeed that's a problem i'm just gonna go heatran i'm gonna go heatran i'm gonna send her dynamax and i think i'm just going to max quake just get that special defense boost to kind of counteract this special attack boost i do have that shuka berry in case you must drop that I'm gonna roll here and I am just going to Dynamax. Good flare, but I just don't think flare is the way to go. I think we're just gonna quake. I think we're just gonna, just gonna quake. Start getting any stat boost. Hopefully, it goes for another max quake. I would really enjoy that. Because I, I do have a Shuka Berry to use. My Shuka Berry. My berry that is Shuka. And I should be able to eat up even if he is plus one. And with the helping hand, I think we should be fine with eating up. If not, the Shuka Berry has been a big waste today. Considering in the first battle we had it, did nothing. The Gastron still dumped on me. And if he dumps on me full health through a Shuka Berry, I'll never use a Shuka Berry again. He thaws out instantly. And this is what I'm talking about. It's just a waste. It is a waste. Max Quake comes through. Here's my Shuka Berry. Here's my Shuka Berry. Can we eat? I told you guys, it's such a waste. It's just a big waste. Like, why you got thaw out there? Shukaberry did eat. All right, Shukaberry helps us out there. He's plus on the special defense board. And we're going to get after it. But, dude, he, like, come on. He throw out one turn. Like, no problem whatsoever. He's plus two on uh, special defense. And Quake, I think Quake should still be able to pick up the scale on the Clefairy. Leads, give it to me. Get it out of my face. Bruh. Bruh. This game. This game, dude. He's gonna follow me again. Just going to do that stuff and things again. Uh, I think I just guard. Do I guard? Can buff its KO? It does. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we get the buffets. We pick up the KO there. Alright. Alright, jeans. How are we gonna play out from here? Vectorer's turn's over? It's not. He has one more. I think I got a guard. Got a guard. I got a guard here. Who's his next Pokemon he's bringing in? Make sure it's boosted. Boost the plus one. It's going to be Incineroar. Intimidate, drop him. Buttery Biscuit. Now my face. Get him out of here. Attack drop falls through. And... Another Blizzard's got to come through. Looking for freezes, man. Looking for freezes all day. They're special. We go for a Steel Spike. I think I just... I think I just quake on this thing. I do this much damage. No, I got a guard. I have to guard the fact he's gonna fake me out and then go for the uh, heavy hit let's see what you got let's see what you got please don't read my max guard i think that, that he's gonna seal the deal if he reads my max guard there's my guard Blah. plop that down and he reads my max yo dude this guy this dude all right he deserves a win i'll give it to him reads my max guard hopefully my blizzard should come out beforehand so maybe and just maybe we can get a double freeze. We're a flash fire. I see a freeze on that. What's it called? The Spectre. Really? Give it to me. Give it to me. Nope. No freezes. Close combat comes through. Block. Give me that block. All right. Buffets are flying through. Turns are over for Spectre, but dude, this one's pretty much a wrap. Which stinks. It really is. The special defense boost ate up a lot. Um, Spectre is just broken. I wouldn't say broken, but definitely top tier. That and Glacier, I always struggle with it. For long time viewers, you guys know, I always struggle with playing up against uh, Glacier and Spectre. So if you do have any uh, any tips for it, let me know in the comment section down below. And don't use a tip. Don't, no, none of you guys let me know. None of you guys in the comment section down below be like, tip to beat Glacier and Spectre is to use Glacier and Spectre. Because I don't want to use them if they're that, like that. Because I, I, especially, well, like you guys know, I like to uh, always uh, use different Pokemon. Like, all kind of Pokemon. I don't like just using, like, top tier Pokemon in every single battle. Got a ball flies through. Okay, I'll hopefully he misses close combat. I'm dead. I'm dead. I do have the main man, Gastro, in the back. Maybe we could do something with that. Criminate comes through, boosts. And we should roll that Trick Room this, this game. 
We do outspeed, which is lovely. We get rid of you. Finally. Get him out of here. And he has two more Pokemon. Up against my Gastro. And we just set the heat for us. That was kind of my fault. That was a dummy play. I have Gastro coming in here. Let's combat fly through. His defense is down, and we do have a ground move. We do have a ground move. Okay. Now, who's his final mind after? I don't think we're going to be able to touch him. I don't think we're going to be able to touch him. Let's see who he has. Unless it's a water Pokemon. Did he have any water Pokemon? No, he probably has Roll Boom in the back, right? Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> alright, that's a game. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he definitely has Roll Boom in the back. He can just grass the guy and one-tap me up, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Even though I would have been able to take out his Incineroar. Actually, no, we wouldn't have, because he would just grass the and took us out. Well, GG's. We go one and two with this Hail Team. Get to show it off decently in second battle, and then the first and uh, third battle. It was pretty rough for us. Just shows its weaknesses on the Hail side, and we lose. Not too shabby with this team today. I wish we would have been able to win one more battle and go 2 on with this team. But at least we were able to pick up one and get to show off that Arthur's ult and Ninetales combo. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.